Hey everybody, and welcome to another Learn to Digitize video. My name is Sue, and I'm a Hatch educator. And today we're talking about images and how to bring them into Hatch. So I want to bring in an image, and you, you can either go to Artwork up here, just it's quick and it's easy to find, or you can do the twirl down menu right here and you have some other options. So for this one, we want to just insert artwork. We can click on it and I'm looking here and I don't see the artwork that I want. And it's because it's not in the right format. So what do you do? Well, let's minimize hatch for a minute. There's my artwork. I know it's there. I can see it. How do I get that into hatch? Well, all you have to do is right click. And if you're on Windows machine, you go to open with and you want to go to this little program. It's called paint and it's a free program that comes with every edition of Windows. So you just want to go ahead and click on that and it's going to open up this cute little program. Again, it's free and it's on your computer, comes with every Windows and you can see the image. Now this is just a nice plain image. So what do you do with it from there? All you have to do is file, save as, and we're going to pick JPEG and I'm going to save it on my desktop and we're going to click save and you can, I'll just call it the same name. And that's all we have to do in windows. Let's bring hatch back up and let's go to our insert artwork again. And look, it's right there and we can bring it into hatch now. So let's click open and let's check the size six by seven. That'll be just fine. Zoom in a bit. Remember you always want to digitize at the size you want your final design design to be. And that's fine. This is fine, what I want. So you could dim the artwork, you can brighten it. I had it on dim, depending on what you're working on. You can lock it, which I absolutely love to do because if it's unlocked, you can move it around. And if you're working on top of it and you move it by accident, it's, it's other than control Z, it's really hard to get it back into the place that you want. So I always lock it and you can check if we bring up our resequence, you can see here down at the bottom corner of this little image, it says locked. Another way of accessing that is right clicking on that and you can do the lock or unlock in this case because I've already locked it. So you can bring in the artwork, you can scan it, you can edit it, you can prepare the artwork for embroidery and you can save just the artwork, which is great. All handy tools for working with um, art here inside Hatch. So if you're having trouble getting an image into Hatch, use a simple program called Paint and do File, Save As, and it'll bring into Hatch no problem. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.